Okay, here's going to be a quick video on demonstration of the Federal Signal Rumbler amplifier. Um, for demonstration purposes here, I just have a regular siren, very basic. It's a MS4000U. They come in two different styles. One just has the switches in the front, um, and the other is basically this one where you'd wire it so that you can hide your switches wherever you'd want. And this you'd stick it in the trunk or under the seat or whatever. But uh, for all intensive purposes, it's just a regular siren, basic one at that. And of course, the Rumbler amplifier, which effectively is just an inline low frequency tone, um, well, not a tone generator, it doesn't generate anything, it just amplifies whatever you put into it and puts it back out. Um, at low free at, at, uh, at a very low tone, a low frequency, and of course for that you need some kind of like a, a bass driver. Whereas this is a um, this is like a PA speaker where you have a, a cone and a diaphragms and a magnet. And anyway, this is just a traditional subwoofer bass speaker out of like a uh, you know like a home theater speaker sort of deal. And the Rumbler speaker that uh, you bought we, we would buy from Federal Signal is effectively just this and it's in a little round housing now there's nothing on the front of this to reverberate the sound so it actually needs to be facing down um, or if you were to install it like this using one of these you'd have to put something in front of it uh, to reverberate the sound but I do have them down on this foam as not to uh, blow my ears and annoy the neighbors too much um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. The way this functions is, uh, well, actually, you'd have this guy here called the uh, timer, the Unitrol timer, and all this really does is uh, you program it so that when you push a button, it activates this guy for a set period of time. So the idea behind this, or depending on how you would install it, is that you, you'd run your siren as normal, normal tones, and then you'd push a button, the, uh, the rumbler would kick in, and it adds in low frequency tone so you'd, you'd only be doing that in certain situations like uh, crossing an intersection or getting the attention of people who seem to not be able to hear the regular siren because running this thing constantly every time um, if you're driving an emergency vehicle every time you hit the siren running this thing as much as you'd run the regular one it's gonna shake the shit out of everything it's attached to and probably annoy you very much so it's only meant to be used in bursts. That's why you have the Unitrol timer. For this demo, I'm not using it. I'm just putting power right to the power lead so this thing's constantly powered. But um, just know that that's, that's how it's meant to be used as an on-off sort of deal. Um, so that's the Unitrol timer. Um, what else? All right, so basically we have, uh, we have the amplified siren tones coming out of the, the siren itself. You could use any siren, it doesn't really matter. And it's going to the regular uh, speaker. This is an AS124 Federal Signal. So this is an actual siren PA speaker that you'd mount uh, on the bumper under the hood or whatever. And like I said, this is just a regular uh, low frequency bass speaker. Now, I do have them going on two separate power supplies, each 5 amps, because um, running running on one 5 amp, this is all 12 volts by the way, running on one 5 amp, it's, it's not enough, and it starts to, uh, it makes weird sound, because it doesn't have enough power to power both of these magnets. Um, and then going into the rumber amplifier is the siren tone from this guy, and coming back out is the amplified low frequency tone into uh, into the bass speaker. No, you can't use a regular one like this because the, the way the magnet is, it's not going to produce the low frequency tones. Ah. So, put this guy on the tripod and uh, we'll see how the audio comes out. I think this uh, the settings on this phone is to automatically reduce the volume so it shouldn't deafen you and, uh, and sound crappy on the speaker. So we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I don't have any switches or anything, so I'm just going to touch the wire. And there's an air horn. And the siren. Fuck. Okay, 
Now we'll disconnect this guy so that you can hear what it would normally sound like. You know what? We'll just, uh, we'll just unpower this guy. That's what we'll do. That's what it sounds like normally. I'm going to try and move the camera back. See if we get a, a different sound. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in the room next uh, next door. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you have an idea now of how this works and uh, proving that you don't actually need the uh, the rumbler speaker. You can use any any low frequency driver and it will work. Though, mind you, the ones that uh, come with this or that are made for this are actually made for such an application to be installed under a car and, uh, and used as such. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know.